Hey guys, Elon here. So after all this talk about Flex Wheeler, I searched for some of his old videos of himself posing and I noticed this one. I think this is his best version ever, 1993 version. He wasn't as big as he was later, for example, 1998, but look at his back, look at the lower lats. Look at this conditioning, he was peeled out of his mind. This is crazy how conditioned he was in this year and with these lines. He literally looked like a cartoon character. This is the best description that you can get of him. Everybody said that and I think this is describing his physique quite well. With his small, tiny, tight waist, with his huge arms and those tiny wrists. Just compare the size of his forearms to his wrist. Just a huge difference. He was just perfect for bodybuilding. Seriously. And the thing is, the thing what I'm actually thinking about in this video is that he wasn't that big, really. He seemed much bigger than he actually was. He didn't weigh a lot. I'm not sure exactly what year was it. If you guys know, let me know in the comment section. But at one year's Arnold Classic, he won the show. He won it actually four times. But once, when he won it, he was weighing only 215 pounds. And with his height, his weight cap in classic physique would be about 212 pounds, if I'm not mistaken. So, he would have to lose only 3 pounds from that Arnold Classic winning version, and it was very similar to this, so basically it was pretty much the same thing. So imagine if we had a physique like this, in classic physique, against Chris Bumstead or Brion or Danny Hester, whoever won the classic physique with Olympia today. Imagine if this physique of Lex Filler was in that competition. Would he lose against any of them? Let's not joke about it. No way. He would win. He would definitely win. He has the perfect lines for it. Seriously. And would he lose against Brandon Curry? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think it's possible. But I think if he signed up for two divisions, like it's possible on amateur shows, you know, I can, for example, uh, sign up for classic physique, for classic bodybuilding, and for juniors, for example, if I'm junior. But that's not the case with the Mr. Olympia. But if it was possible, imagine that. He would definitely win the Classic Physique, the Mr. Olympia Open, if you ask me, and 212 as well. I don't think even Flex Lewis would be able to beat him. I don't think so. I think if this guy was competing today, he would beat everybody in all divisions in Mr. Olympia. I'm just not sure about man's physique, but probably not. I don't think he would win the man's physique because he would be just too big for that. But the Classic Physique... Mr. Olympia Open and 212, I think he would win all of them. Because he was, imagine that, this is 212 pounds. Crazy, crazy. He looks like he's at least 250. But that's just the genetics. That's the kind of structure he had. It's an amazing structure. It's just perfect for bodybuilding, seriously. He is one of the most impressive looking uncrowned Mr. Olympias ever because he was that good. Although the other guys, like for example Dorian Yates, used their potential to the max. Flex didn't really go to that extreme. He was still living a life to a certain extent. I think it was only like 10% uh, left that he didn't give. Like Dorian Yates, for example, who gave 101% probably. And look at it here. I mean, this is the difference. This is 93 Mr. Olympia. So Dorian won and Flex was second. And you can see why, because Dorian was a tiny bit more shredded and quite a bit bigger, like 30 pounds bigger at least. So you can see it here, you can notice the size difference, but if you look at them separately, one by one, you can't really see it as well as you can see it when they are compared one next to another. Here, Flex is closer to the camera, so he seems even a little bit bigger, but when they stood next to each other, especially from the back, the difference was obvious. And if Flex pushed the envelope like Dorian did, with the drugs, with the food, with just a, a lifestyle, but especially with the training. I watched his videos of him training and he was really, he wasn't pushing it. Nowhere near the max, like Dorian Yates did. Dorian went all out, all out, every single time. Flex was just too relaxed in the gym, if I'm gonna be honest. So if he gave his 100%, he would be the Mr. Olympia. And Dorian said it himself. He considered him the most genetically gifted bodybuilder during the 90s and the one who could have beaten him if he gave more, if he gave all of him, just like Dorian Yates did, but with what he gave, he's still one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time, and arguably one of the most genetic, probably the most genetically gifted bodybuilder of all time. Anyways, my question for you guys is, is this physique good enough 
to win 2019 Mr. Olympia Open Division, 2019 Mr. Olympia Classic Physique Division, and 2019 Mr. Olympia 212 Division. Of course, if he lost those three pounds. Guys, if you ask me, I mean, I already answered this. I think it's not even a question. He would absolutely destroy Chris Bumstead and the rest of the crew. He would absolutely annihilate them with the lines, with the muscular development, with the symmetry, with the proportions, with the classic, classic physique. He would definitely destroy completely the lineup. In the open, with his completeness, with this kind of legs against Brandon Curry, he would destroy him, he would definitely beat him. Sure, maybe his glutes weren't completely peeled at this year's Mr. Olympia, but Brandon was also kind of watery, he wasn't exactly peeled through the glutes or anywhere else, really. I don't think he would be able to beat Sean Rodin at his best or Phil Heath at his best, but Brandon Curry, yeah, I think so. 2019 Mr. Olympia Open would be a victory for Flex like this or three pounds lighter. And 212, I mean, classic physique is kind of questionable because the criteria is different, but 212 is judged like uh, the Open division, for example. It's just a weight cap. And uh, if he looked like this, he would definitely win that division for sure. So whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section. I just thought this is another thing that makes Flex Wheeler special compared to the likes of Dorian Yates, Ronnie Coleman and so on. These guys were able to beat him in the open, but would they be able to win Classic and 2 well at the same time? So this makes him special and this is just another reason why Flex Wheeler is one of the greatest of all time. What do you guys think? Let me know. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And please subscribe to my channel for more bodybuilding videos. All the best guys. Bye bye.